Hi there, I'm Alex from Advanced Installer and today we are going to have a look on how file and register redirections work with MSIX, how to disable this redirection and what are the limitations when disabling this feature. With MSIX, the registry is virtualized inside the package and user data is automatically redirected to a local app data location. For example, if I have an application which creates or modifies a file during execution in the user's app data folder, this is actually created in local app data, packages, a subfolder composed as publisher name dot app name underline hash and another subfolder called local cache, which simulates app data and local app data from the user. We already have an article regarding app data management in MSI. MSIX and APPV, which I will link down below. Now, the file and register redirections for MSIX are always on by default, but there is a way to disable it in case it's needed to. As we already know, most package settings and behaviors are stored in the APPX manifest file. First of all, to disable the file and register redirections, a required restricted capability named unvirtualized resources must be added to the manifest file. This capability must be placed within the capabilities element something like this. Next, the following properties must be added in the APPX manifest file. Registry write virtualization, which indicates whether virtualization for the registry is enabled for the desktop application, and file system write virtualization, which indicates whether virtualization for the file system is enabled for this application. These two properties should be included inside the properties element from the manifest file. In the end, the manifest should look something like this. And that is pretty much it. With these simple changes, you disable both file and register redirections inside your MSIX package. Unfortunately, when a restricted capability is added to an MSIX package and a normal installation is attempted, you will get the cannot open app package error. Currently, only certain Microsoft Store products, such as games, use these kind of properties. The app installer does not support installing applications with restricted capabilities at this time. Now, MSIX does a great job of automatically cleaning the system when the application is uninstalled and leave a perfectly clean machine after it. However, if redirections are disabled, the package isn't aware of what was created on the machine and during an installation, all additionally created files and registry will remain on the machine. Now, if you add these capabilities and try to publish your app in the Microsoft Store, chances are that it will get rejected. In order for an app to be published to the store with restricted capabilities, there must be a specific and strong reason to support why it's needed. However, there is a workaround that we discovered for installing an MSIX with restricted capabilities. You can run PowerShell as an administrator and use the add app package commandlet, which we already covered in an article, link can be found in the description. Now, Let's have a quick demo to see how a normal MSIX package handles this kind of redirections and another package which has all the redirections disabled. So for this demo, we created a small sample executable which creates a text file under the user app data folder and also a registry which is placed under the current user hive. We then proceeded and created a normal MSIX package. Now, if we install this MSIX package and launch our application, you will see that our executable says that it created a file in the user app data location, right? So let's open up app data and check it. But as you can see, it's not here. Remember when I said that everything is redirected to the local app data folder? So let's go there. And go into the packages folder, navigate in your application folder, which is created like manufacturer dot application name underline hash, then into the local cache folder, roaming folder, and here is your sample text file. Now, unfortunately, if we open up our registry editor, the registry is completely virtualized and you won't see our 
test registry. But let's see how you can create an MSIX package with advanced installer that has these redirections disabled. So let's open up advanced installer, create a new MSI package, next and finish. Okay, first we place our sample executable. We point the application to this sample executable. Uh, of course, we need to sign our package. I'm going to use a small certificate that I have on my disk. Yes, synchronize the publisher ID. And then open up the manifest editor. Remember that we need to add two properties and one restricted capability. So let's first add the properties. So right click properties and click new element. This will be called registry write virtualization, which will be disabled, right? So disable the registry virtualization and then add a new element, which will be called file system write virtualization, which again will be disabled. So disable file redirections. Okay. Then we need to add our capability. Okay. So right click new element. Our element name will be capability. And the name of the capability will be on virtualized. Okay. On virtualized resources. Let's click. Okay. Let's click OK again. Save the package and build it. Okay, and now our MSIX package is built. But if you remember, if we try to install it normally, you will get this error. This, this app package is not supported for installation by App Installer because it uses certain restricted capabilities. So let's open up a PowerShell with administrator rights. Okay, and use the add app package commandlet which will point to the path of the MSIX okay hit enter hey it's installed okay let's open it again our executable says that he created this sample file in the user app data folder so let's check it hey and it's here so the file redirection is disabled Let's see if the registry is also here. And this is our test key. So also the registry redirection is disabled. So that's how easy it is to add these capabilities and properties to your package using advanced installer. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and now have a better understanding about MSIX redirections. You can also check out our blog for more topics like this one. Or if you want to get in touch with us, check out our forum. Don't forget to try out our free Advanced Installer Express Edition. Bye-bye.